there's no man like my father in the Lord. No man. No man. No man. No man. I've seen Christians. I've seen no man. No man. No man. Oh, I remember when I went to meet him in Lagos. I flew in, and I came to his house. I said, "Do you have any program?" He said, "No." It's you I came to see. He touched me. He accessed heaven. He said, "This, you have a friend that needs to leave you." I, I knew the person was talking about. The moment he mentioned me, his friend has to leave you. The moment he leaves you, the Lord will give you double lane. You ride on double lane. I obeyed and the anointing on my life changed he said it is not time meanwhile I had the money and influence to manipulate that what I knew it was not time so I withdrew into my chair I gave it six additional years yes. and after six years The application I wrote to the embassy for, I made so many mistakes. So I wasn't expecting the visa to come. Because the one I was perfect about, they didn't have a cogent reason, but they didn't give me. That's the one I got. That's the one that came out. The reason was because it was time. That was the wake of COVID-19, 2020. I had four days window to visit London. Then people had not started wearing masks. I was the only one that wore masks in the flight that we took. Because my mother is a nurse. Four days in London. Four days that will always be remembered. Because it was time. I stopped at that point deliberately. Because when the time comes, nothing can stop your light. When the time comes, nothing can stop your destiny. And for many of you, the time has come. Yeah. Oh, people tried to, people, people responded badly to you. Even pastors manipulated. You saw all of that. But you were not discouraged. It was God you were following. And it was a test to see whether men were your God or God was your God. When the time comes, nothing can hold you. Nothing can stop you. That, those four days I preached in London was the reason why Europe opened to me. Do not show yourself before the time comes. Can we pray as a congregation? I realize that it's not where you are trained that God manifests you. Your rugged training might be here in Makoti. But your manifestation might be in Bayesa. Some of you ladies listening to me today, marriage might take you to New York. Some of you marriage might take you to Lagos. And all kinds of displacement will take place consistent with the plans of God. And then you will know the reason for which God took so much time to work on your life. Oh, oh, arise, shine. For your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Oh, are you with me? A young man went to preach in Ebony State, a young man insisted that he must see me. I said, okay, what happened? The young man said, he got a lot of my messages, he heard them, and then started preaching it in a Bonyo state. And demons, demons invaded him. So he's coming to me for protection. So I now, I... <laughs> Deep, you could, from the way he was speaking, you know he's a very intelligent young man. So he thought, it was intelligence that I was using to, to preach that. No, he has the same kind of intelligence. So he crammed the things I used to say and then began 
demons visited him. So he ran and came. I told him, Do you fast? Because his stomach was big. <laughs> Do you pray for long? Well, oh, he doesn't have the discipline. But he likes the way the thing comes out. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him, stop preaching. If you want to live long, which I am perceiving that you want to more life, the way to start is stop that preaching first. Then get used to the discipline of a preacher. How old are you in the Lord? That's the first question we need to ask. How old? Since you gave your life to Christ, have you committed fornication? It means your spirit is weak. Stop preaching. Right? And then let me teach you about Christianity. Since it's a crash program, I need to summarize Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7 quickly. Hmm. Hallelujah. I know you will not want to be in that lesson. You don't want you will not want to be in that lecture. The man was setting himself up for untimely death. He doesn't know what we fight before we hmm, he doesn't know. Oh, you can preach a, a sermon. So Oh, it was a sermon I preached that our studio got burnt. And when I prayed, I said, Lord, what sin have I committed? He said, no, you have no sin. But it is because your message was placed on cable satellite that the demons that came to burn that place came from afar. Your message went somewhere and caused damage. So the demons had to retaliate from that place. I put our messages on cable. The hallelujah that should come back was fire. <laughs> if you do these things, show thyself to the world. I'm going to stop there today. We'll still continue from tomorrow. Um, no, I'm not stopping because you are not flowing. I'm stopping because. It is time. Even the keyboard man that was supposed to remind me of my Sakome he forgot his, his forgot If you do these things, show thyself to the world. I was going to preach in a certain country, and I was so excited. It was about my first um apostolic trip and I slept in the night and I had a dream I had arrived this country arrived this nation and I was so moving my luggage around and I came to their immigration and handed out my passport the man looked at it and there was no visa then I woke up that's not a good sign I fell on my knees and I began to pray. And the Lord said, because you have money to pay for a ticket, doesn't mean I've sent you. So I did not go for that trip. It was not time. I went to the British Embassy. I was invited. I had all my documents. I was a staff in an enviable platform uh, of, 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 of government. And I took everything there. And it came out negative. I tried again, he came out negative. I went and met my father and the Lord. See, they denied me. He said, you? I said, yes. Then he groaned in the spirit. I said, ah, it's not time. That's the last answer I was expecting. <laughs> but you know what? Many years later, I found out he was right. <laughs>